Guys. <laughs> you won't believe what happened. We need to move. Again! Can you believe it? it? I honestly cannot believe it. Just saying it out loud. It just feels wrong. <sighs> if you followed me for just over half a year or so, you would know that this is my new apartment, but I have to move again, or we have to move again. <sighs> At this stage, I just, I think, I just feel like I have to laugh about it. <laughs> I can't do anything but just laugh. Oh. Let me give you a bit of background. So, I only moved into this apartment in Feb, March. And um, yeah, so it's been eight months of living here, but I started the lease renewal process quite early because in February of next year, my mom's coming to visit and February would be the month where my lease ends, meaning I would then have to look for something new and move and so on in February if they're not extending my lease. So luckily I started the process a little bit earlier and as part of this process, I found out that the owners want to move back. Now, because I don't want to move in Feb, I want to enjoy this month with my mom while she's here in Australia. I'm planning on just moving ASAP. The, the owners were really nice about it. They said if I want to move earlier, uh, so I basically would be breaking the term of my lease. I have a 12 month uh, term on my lease. Uh, they won't be charging me any penalties that would normally apply if you are uh, breaking a lease early. So. They're basically giving me the go ahead to look for places and move on at any time without any penalty charge. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I don't want to move. I was really hoping that I could stay in this place for two to three years until I'm in a position to potentially buy something. I think it was a bit of a shock to the agent as well. They didn't really expect the owners to not extend the lease. So yeah, it wasn't necessarily what I was hoping for, but you know, that's, that's the life as a renter and that's the main reason why I just don't want to rent anymore. I want to know where I live and not constantly have to worry that I'm going to have to move again and so on. But yeah, like I'm, a, I'm this kind of person, you know, I instantly lost interest in this apartment. Now that I know that I'm not actually here to stay, I have no desire to improve this place, make it look good and so on, right? i much rather take all of that energy and effort and put it into hopefully my new place um, that I will find um, that to me makes more sense. So I really want to get onto that ASAP. Good news is one of my best friends ever. She's honestly like family over here. Her name is uh, Hafa. I don't think I've ever spoken about her before. She's uh, also looking for a place at the moment and we're looking at a similar price range, similar area, similar requirements and so on. So we said, you know what, instead of both of us spending a fortune on having our own apartments, if we combine our budget, we can find a really, really nice house that I'm kind of excited about. So maybe it all happened for a reason because my friend literally just started the house hunting last week. So uh, maybe it all did happen for a reason. Maybe it's all meant to be. So at least that's a positive. Technically I have four months until I ab absolutely have to move out of here. So way less pressure to last time. Last time, remember I was given 30 days notice because it was an end of lease termination. So, you know, four months, much more time than 30 days. I don't have a friend from Germany living with me this time around. So, um, and I feel like I'm not doing this by myself this time around. I'm doing it with my friend, or at least we're hoping if we can't find anything together, then we might have to find our own places after all. But yeah, I'm feeling more positive about this one than I did about the change in apartments uh, eight months ago. I feel like I'm in a better headspace uh, as well. I feel like it came at an okay time for me to go ahead and tackle that. The main thing I'm just stressed about is the greenhouse. I mean, I always wanted a greenhouse and as soon as I got this courtyard over here, I'm like, I'm gonna get a greenhouse and I wanna keep the greenhouse really badly. So I really wanna find a new place that I can take the greenhouse with me as well. 
which should happen if we're looking for a nice big place with a big garden. Um, so I'm more worried about the actual process of taking it down, moving it and having to rebuild it. That is just taking the moving process to a whole nother level. The other unfortunate thing is that I literally just done my garden makeover and then the tree got removed and then I did the garden makeover again. But when I did the garden makeover the second time around, I kind of, I was waiting for them to come back to me with a response in relation to the lease renewal. So I kind of stopped putting anything in the ground. So I don't actually have all too many things planted in the ground uh, that I will probably dig out as part of the moving process. <laughs> Honestly, just have a look at the videos I uploaded over the last six months, the amount of work and effort I put into this place for nothing. But look, it's not just putting, like I enjoy putting work and effort in it, right? It's not just doing it for the end result. I do enjoy the journey. So it was worthwhile. I enjoyed it. I wish I could have just enjoyed the fruits of my labor for a little while longer. But that's okay, I'm planning on finding a place that's even bigger and better than this one. So hopefully anything that I've gotten as part of uh, this, this the last move um, is still suitable for the new place as well. We will see. I will definitely try and take you along as, on as much as I can. Um, the main thing that bothers me right now is that, you know, we have to move really fast. The market is still really hot. Um, usually places are open for one inspections. There's going to be shitloads of people coming to that inspection. There's going to be lots of people putting in applications and then you just got to hope that you're the chosen one to get the place. But you usually can't really contemplate or double or think about it again and so on, right? Like if you find a place that you like, you just need to go for it then and there, which means that we're going for the first inspections on Saturday actually, which is in just two days time. Um, so, which means we could find a place on Saturday that we really like and it might all move really, really fast. We might not find something for months that we really like. So I might not be moving till January or February. I might be moving in a fortnight. That is what bothers me a little bit because I can't really prepare, right? I don't know. I can't po pack boxes. I might still live here for another three months and use all of it, right? Um, and so on. So. I like certainty. I'm not afraid to put in the work. I'm not afraid to put in the effort. I love being organized. I just don't know how to organize myself if I don't know timeframes. So that is really my main priority right now. I think finding a place, getting a move-in date so I can start getting myself organized. Now, I only gotten the news two days ago, by the way, as well. So I just need to, needed to digest the news for myself, get in touch with my friend, see if we want to go house hunting together. Did a lot of house hunting online yesterday. So I feel like I'm in the right mindset to now share the news with you. <laughs> I'm feeling okay about it. But yeah, I'll try and take you along on as much as, we, as I can. Um, let the fun begin. I honestly, I can't believe we're doing this again. It just feels like yesterday, but so be it. Let's go on another adventure together. Yay. Wish me luck. And we are back. So I went to a couple of inspections today with my friend Hafa. Honestly, it's so nice doing it with somebody together. And we definitely seem to be on the same page. Hang on, very off topic. I'm sorry, but how nice is this plant? Leucospermum cordatum, cordy. Leucospermum Totum ex formosum, sorry. Is this not crazy? It's like fireworks. If you look close. Wow, very sunny, there you go. Beautiful. I promise it's the last plant I get before I move. I really need to stop getting more plants, that's it. <laughs> but this one was too pretty, I couldn't say no. Anyway, so I went for a couple of inspections with Hafa today and woo, not all were great. I put in a few photos uh, for you. So the first one I went to, I went by myself because it was just around the corner over here and it was quite early. Um, that is my favorite one so far. So what I really like about that is big outdoor area. 
um, two bathrooms, so Hafa would have an ensuite, I would have my own bathroom. Downstairs is a nice like guest room slash plant room and upstairs is like a little loft that's kind of unusable but it's great for storage. Um, comes with a garage and so on as well but I don't drive. Hafa isn't driving but she wants to drive eventually. So that I think was my favorite but there were a lot of people there as well so I'm not too sure what our chances are of actually getting it but we put an application in and I'll follow up with the agent on Monday. It's Saturday today so I don't want to annoy them. Second one we went to um, was a huge house, um, like so many rooms, but it was really dark and a bit worried about mold issues in that place. I've lived in houses like that. They always have mold issues. They don't get enough sun. They have shitty insulation, shitty roofs and so on. Um, that one would also be the most expensive. And downstairs you have like this rumpus room but it's completely unusable because it's so dark for me. I and Hafa agrees, like we love light. We, we, we are nature people, right? Like I don't want to live somewhere cold and dark and depressing. I think it would just not be good for my mental health. But this place has lots and lots and lots of room. Um, and I really like that little deck outside as well. It would be great for entertaining and really private. But I think just given that it's the most expensive one we looked at it should really take like i should feel excited about it i didn't feel excited about it so that's annoying third one we went to was a, was a joke like you could see through the wall like you could see light coming in between the baseboard and the wall like there's just a gap like crazy and they still ask for a thousand bucks Two of the rooms didn't even have a window. They have a window to like a sunroom that has a skylight. Seriously, it's basically like a townhouse and it's the one in the middle, right? So you don't have any windows on either side. You have one at the very front, so you're lucky if you get the front bedroom and you have one at the end. It had a great deck, great garden, beautiful renovated kitchen and beautiful renovated bathroom but also really small so it was too small for the two of us and it was just honestly in my opinion unlivable there was mold on the ceiling i think it's ridiculous that they're actually allowed to put something like that up for rent without you know ticking some sort of boxes if you would be renting and as a result of you renting there would be mold on the floor or on the ceiling because you are not um, you know, it's, um, you're not airing out the place enough or whatever you do, you'd get in so much trouble. But if there's already mold when you move in, then that's totally fine. I, I, I don't get it. Yeah. So that was honestly shocking. Um, and the fourth one we went to was also quite small. It would be good because we'd be saving money uh, compared to what I pay right now. But... Um, I think it would be a bit too small for the two of us. I think we would just be sitting on top of each other. And it's been really nice going out with Hafa on the, with these things because she's also super respectful of uh, Sydney Plant Guy as a business. She's like, well, if it's too small and we can't bring all of your plants and you don't have enough room to like do gardening and do some projects and so on, and it's going to be detrimental to Sydney Plant Guy as a business, right? It's like, I rather have more space because that enables me to do new projects and I love doing that and it helps me come up with some content um, that is unique or like different to just repotting, repotting, repotting houseplant tours and so on and I would love to have more space rather than less space but of course I would also love to save a little bit of money instead of increasing the money I have to spend on rent but anyway so we really only like the first one or i like the first one and half i trust my judgment so fingers crossed but it's still early days so i'm gonna keep looking every week and go to inspections every week until it's happening and i'll keep you informed next one is i think on wednesday so um yeah i'll touch base with you after after i after i inspected it on wednesday Hello, alrighty, let me give you a quick update. So it is Wednesday today, I just finished work, but I was fortunate enough to go to two inspections throughout the day today. So first and foremost, shout out to my work. 
so nice that they're so accommodating and letting me go to inspections throughout the day. You know, that's really nice to see that uh, they support me in whatever is going on in my life. So that's really nice because I know not everybody is fortunate enough to be in a position to dug out to an inspection throughout your work day and so on. My friend Hafa, for example, she, she can't. So if it wasn't for me being able to go there, we would be able to only really inspect half the places. Usually inspections are on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Anyway, really liked that first place that I visited on Saturday. So I followed up the agent on Monday and I followed them up on Tuesday and they just didn't return my calls. But I saw the same place being open for inspection again today. It's usually not a good sign, right? I already applied for it. Why are you showing it to more people? Just give it to me already. But I thought, you know what, let's just go back just as a sanity check for myself in the first place and um, I took Tim with me as well because I was like I I want a second set of eyes on this because Hafa wasn't able to join me on Saturday so I don't want to be the only person who has seen the place and then make a call on it so Tim lives close by so I was like do you mind coming to the inspection with me so I can just get somebody else's opinion on it and the house was super clean today so they must have had a cleaner through monday or tuesday so that's good and all of the other stuff was gone all of the previous tenant stuff was just gone so that's a positive it looked much nicer today than it looked on saturday and the agent was actually really nice in person so i'm not too sure why he was so unresponsive over the phone but um yeah he said that they actually received everything that they needed from us they were waiting for one more reference from Hafa's employer which came through this morning so he said that technically everything is there and that technically shouldn't be a problem to get the tenancy i don't know I suppose it depends there might be somebody else who puts in an application maybe they offer more money money talks you know so if they offer more money then obviously I'd assume that they're going ahead with that application instead but it is giving me a little bit of confidence first of all it's giving us confidence that you know what our application on paper looked good enough to be considered they could have also just been like oh my god those two are delusional out the window so that's good and second of all I'm crossing my fingers and toes and everything else I can cross that we will get this place you know things move really fast so i feel like i would be hearing from them tomorrow if it's successful if i haven't really heard from them tomorrow i probably have to follow up but if i haven't heard from them by friday i would assume that this is not going ahead but it's okay there's more inspections i could go to on saturday but yeah i really liked it and tim also liked it so it's good to get the confirmation that i'm not delusional I also went to another place today um, afterwards. It was also nice, probably my second favorite. I'll put in a few photos. It was really hard to kind of inspect that place because the current tenants are not moving out for another two and a half weeks, which actually from a timing perspective would work really well for us. But their shit is just everywhere. I mean, have a look at the mountain of boxes that they had in the kitchen. Place is really dark but the back end of the house really sold me the kitchen is beautiful this is exactly the type of kitchen that i would love in my house or apartment or wherever like a dream kitchen with a dream dining room and like a dream outdoor area and this overall this whole really open indoor outdoor living that is amazing and i suppose that's where we'd spend the most time you go to the bedroom to sleep right but still same price point as the first one that i spoke about um, and i think i still prefer the first one as well but we still put in an application for that one as well just to see right uh, because you never know you can always put in an application get accepted and then reject it better than just putting all eggs in one basket so no updates but i'm feeling a little more positive about this today's also a exciting day it is brett's sixth birthday so my little baby is definitely no longer a baby he is a full on grown cat adult six years of age so happy birthday bread um and adoption day is one january so in january it will be six years of bread and i together anyway he's just in the garden he's sniffing and eating his grass so i don't want to disturb him so we'll let him have his little birthday celebration in the courtyard and i'll update you once there's news to share
everybody, wish me luck. It happened. <sighs> I just paid the holding deposit, which means the place is ours. It's just Thursday, so I've recorded the last clip yesterday. And this morning, honestly, first thing, it came through. All good to go. I paid the holding deposit, which means we can now move in. Um, oh well. Hello. Yes, you're gonna come with me, my baby. You're gonna come with me. You're gonna have a new garden. Okay. Well, lease commences in, on the 10th, which is eight days away. I need to give two weeks notice at this place as well. So I'm trying to obviously give myself enough time to move things over without having to stress out. But I also want to minimize the amount of rent I pay in both places at the same time. So I haven't given notice yet. I need to kind of think it through because here is the catch. While I get, I pick up the keys on the 10th, Tim is actually moving into his house on that weekend. Um, and I already promised to help him and uh, he would be the main help uh, for me moving as well. So basically between the two of us, we both need to move on that weekend and we're each other's helpers, if that makes sense. So I might not actually move on that weekend uh, of the 10th. I might just use the first week to, you know, do the inspection on there and like clean everything and maybe slowly move things over. But I think the big moving day will be the weekend after. So the like what, 17, 18, 19, something like that. Already ask at work and I'll get some extra leave for that time as well. So I have, I think, six or seven full days of moving, which is needed given the greenhouse and so on. I am also thinking about getting some removalists, getting some help and so on, but obviously that's also really expensive. Given I've got the time, I'm trying to do as many things as possible by myself, I think. But what that means is I have, I am finally in a position to put a bit of a timeline together, put a to-do list together with proper dates as to when I should be doing that. So that's exciting because I feel, felt a little bit in limbo uh, in the meantime. So I'll try and film as much as I can, uh, packing up over here, moving over, unpacking over there and so on. Um, maybe this is a multi-part series, I'm not too sure. I can't wait to show you. I'm really excited. I think Brett will be really excited as well. Um, so yeah, see how we go. But that's big news. That's the biggest hurdle done. I think that's to me the stressful part as well because I hate uncertainty. Now that I have certainty, I'm willing to put in the work. Don't worry about that. I have heaps of energy. <laughs> so I don't mind moving things, packing things and so on. That is all manageable. And then once everything is at the new place, then the enjoyable part can begin and like exploring the new place, setting up my plants and so on, making it look nice. That's the part I'm looking forward to. And then there's obviously also the live admin part where I have to change my addresses everywhere again. Alrighty, project moving again is officially starting. So, I had a pretty chilled weekend. I didn't really do all too much on the weekend in relation to the move. I just started changing my address online wherever I can. A few places I need to call, so I'll do that on Friday, I think, because I work during the day and then after I finish work, it's too late. So, but I can't, I think, the majority of things you can do online, just uh, through your apps and so on. So, that was good. Now, when it comes to actually packing things up, that's kind of like the main thing that I did last time in this vlog, or that's the main thing that I kind of had to stay on top of. Last time I moved from the top floor and there was no elevator, so... I didn't want my helpers to uh, have to do the trips up and down. So last time around, I spent a lot of time packing things up, bringing the boxes into the garage uh, and so on. Um, now this time around, because it's just ground level to ground level, 
I don't think I have to do all of that. So I think when it comes to packing boxes, there isn't all too much that needs to be packed up in boxes. It's mainly plants and they're just gonna go into crates and then I'm gonna just get like three, four crates over at a time or something like that. I've got plenty of time for that as well. But realistically, I'm gonna do all of that once I've got the keys. So I can pack something, bring it over, unpack it and go back. I don't need to do it all in one big go. I wanna do it gradually. So I really gotta have the keys for that and I wanna have the new place cleaned thoroughly as well before I start unpacking anything. So packing boxes, I kind of thought I'll do very last, to be honest, because I still need things. I'm still gonna live in this apartment for another 12 days at least. And I have events on and plans and so on as well. So I need clothing and so on. I just feel like if I pack up everything now, I'll shoot myself in the foot because I know I'll pack something that's then in a box or at the new place that I still need and so on. And I actually end up wasting more time trying to find the things that are already packed up than if I would just wait. I am pretty organized anyway, so I don't think the packing is gonna to take too long. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is kind of, I don't know where to start until I've got the keys, but I'm a very task-oriented person. I love being productive. I'm having a really hard time sitting there doing nothing if I know that I should be working on something, be productive, tick things off my to-do list. So what I thought is I'll get started on the garden because I think the garden is also one of the first things that we're gonna move over to the new place. Um, as soon as we've got the keys, uh, I'll start moving that because the garden can just stay there. Um, so all of the plants that I previously had in pots, I kind of just stack the pots together over here and that way um, the plants can drain a little bit better um, right now as well because I want them to dry out a little more so they're less heavy. Uh, when I have to move them and we just had torrential rain for the last three days in a row so there was water sitting up to here in these pots they don't have drainage holes because um, I didn't want to put drainage holes in them in case I ever used them inside or on like a um, on like a decking or something like that they could get stained you know what I mean so um, they had water sitting up to here so yesterday I took the plants out and I just want to let them drain so they're nice and light by the time I need to move. But now, today, the reason why I'm filming is because I want to take any other plant that I want to take with me out of the ground, uh, pot it up, and so yeah, then it's easily uh, easy to move over. Now, I'm not too sure if we're gonna put new things in the ground at the new place. I actually have really nice raised garden beds and I think I wanna plant things in these garden beds. I don't know, it's kind of like, when I moved in here, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna plant things in the ground, YOLO. But now that the reality of moving is actually here, I'm like, why did I plant everything into the ground? Anyway, we see how we go, but definitely at some stage between moving out here and moving in there, they will somehow need to be transported, so they'll need a pot anyway. So I reckon, I don't know. I don't know yet, but I wanted to show you something else, which is honestly giving me nightmares a little bit, because <laughs> literally last week I organized my entire garage with new shelving solution, and it looks so beautiful, and I'm super happy with the setup, but yeah, it's not staying, obviously. So I take you to the garage so you can see I have a lot of stuff in there that also needs to be moved. Ah. This is my green bin, that's fine. But look at this, I got this beautiful new shelving unit and a cabinet over there with pots in it. It's full of pots. And then I've got this new shelf over here for my substrates. Those shelves combined are 350 kilos and I had to just build them last week for a video just to move them next week. So terrible, terrible timing, but that's how it all worked out. Um, and I rather have it built and the video filmed before I have to move because it's a collaboration and so on. So 
have to stay on top of my obligations and my deadlines and projects and so on that I already had in in train or planned, you know. Um, but I think it all worked okay. But basically, instead of packing up over the last few days, I spent building things and uh, editing videos and so on. So I feel like I haven't done all too much progress on the actual move. Anyway, all of this stuff in the middle, that's going to Tim's. So Tim is also moving the same weekend as I am. So all of this will go out to Tim's and I've got some beautiful pots for Tim as well. It's the same pots that you saw in the courtyard, the same company, uh, Simply Good Pots. Um, have also sponsored another couple of pots for Tim and his new place. So thank you Simply Good Pots, really appreciate it. They are amazing and I can't wait to um, give them to him. I think he'll be really, really happy. So I'll keep them here with all of his stuff. We're gonna move that on Saturday and then on Sunday we're gonna move things for my place. And then the week after we're gonna move more things. My friend who's gonna move in with me, also happens to uh, use my garage as her storage. <laughs> so behind Tim's stuff is then my friend's stuff. So my stuff in itself is really only those three shelves in here, but they are heavy and they also need to go, but I got a new garage for them at the new place as well. The garage just doesn't have any natural light, so I didn't wanna do any filming in it. Um, but yeah, anyway, and AJ, has some crates for me here as well to move all the plants. But to move plants, I need to have a key. Anyway, the reason we're here in the garage is because we need pots. Oh, look how nice and organized everything is. To be, to be honest, I'm not too sure if I'm allowed to show you this yet. I don't think the video is gonna be released till January, but you haven't seen anything, okay? That was a huge source of anxiety for me. I was like, am I gonna get the shelves delivered on time before I have to move? Am I gonna have time to film before I have to move? <sighs> and so on. I really don't like, uh, I really don't like letting down some of my partners that I work with. You know, I take pride in being professional and I want Sydney plant guy to have a good reputation uh, and be uh, somebody that companies really want to work with. So yeah, I wanna make sure that my business partners don't are negatively impacted by me having to move all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna get the mix and I'll be back. Hello, my baby. Big tiger helping? Are you? No, okay. I'll do it then. You just watch. You want to supervise? No, you want to take a dump, don't you? Guys, have a look. So much bark has been flaking off that tree over there. And since I've been given notice, I have zero interest in keeping this clean. I'll clean it once when I leave. But that's about it. That's all you get from me. Alrighty, let me see so these are all plants that are potted up already anyway these are all in pots this palm was already here in pots so i just need to get this haliconia back out Alrighty. so i just got a bag of like premium potting soil over here i just chucked put a bit of perlite through this okay let's have a look i've got a little maranta here actually thriving at the moment more or less thriving I'm just gonna take this out show you Have a look at these they're not bad they really like it in the ground so I'll just pop them in a pod for now but they will definitely go back in the ground oh you know what oh look at this I might just pop them in the same pod as the haliconia together easy Bradley are you not helping okay, I'm gonna just try because I haven't potted this up that long ago I'm just gonna try and pull see what happens there we go oh it looks healthy okay have a look at this 
I don't know if the camera will focus, but it has some healthy roots. It's good. And I just noticed you can hardly see things. All right, that's good. So it should be not too much. I mean, I can see some roots that are pulled out. It's okay. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, well, that's good. Oh my god, this potty mix stinks so bad. How could anybody possibly use this indoors? Like, but out here, I don't need to waste my fancy air white mix. Things out here dry out, or well, outside in general, dry out really quickly. So I'd rather give this a water retentive mix. And then I'll just pop these two Marantas in here. Yeah, it's been so hectic and honestly, what are the odds that Tim and I have to move on the same day as well? <sighs> Which is kind of unfortunate because we're each other's like helper, you know? But it is nice to have somebody who goes through the same thing with you and then Huffer obviously goes through the same thing with us as well. So it's kind of like everybody is moving at the moment. All right, number one. Done. Okay, next we've got this little native over here. It looks a bit sad, but I think that was also because it was destroyed a little bit when they removed the tree. But I can see new growth, so I think this should be fine. And let's go here. This is all fine. Okay, the tree will start. The good thing is I only planted all of these up very recently healthy roots here but only recently planted these up because of the tree removal right so they haven't you know they haven't expanded like they haven't expanded like crazy yet i have some sad looking syngoniums i'll just pop them into the same pot because this one i'll most likely pop back into the ground just because calithius have a much better time uh, outdoors than indoors in the first place. They have a much better time being planted straight into the ground. But look at this one. It has two flowers. This has not flowered for me ever before. And I've had this for years. It only flowered as soon as I put it in the ground. So quite clearly, with this one, it's worth it. Alrighty, over here, you can hardly see this. Over here I've got a Calithia that was destroyed when they took the tree out, but I can see that it has healthy roots and I can see it's giving me new shoots, so it's coming back. So I want to save this. And again, Calithia is going to have a good time outdoors, so I'll plant this back in. And the same with the Mosaica over here also i can see some healthy roots and i can see some of these like corn things and there's even some new growth coming as well it just didn't really catch a break over here it first had i first planted it in here in april then it went into winter then the tree got removed and i replanted it again so yeah it just can't catch a break i'll leave the pet grass in case the next and because the owners have a pet as well but i have a lot of pet grass in the other courtyard for bread already so all righty see this beautiful maranta all of this has grown just over spring <sighs> i really want to take this one but um, i feel like this one has obviously rooted in thoroughly otherwise it wouldn't look that lush so i'm just gonna wiggle on it see what i can do ah, this is much better rooted than the previous ones. We'll just dig up the soil on the side a bit. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, I wanted it to root. Not that much, come on. Thing is, if I disturb it too much now, I'm losing all that beautiful progress. Come on. Definitely ripped a few roots, but I mean, this is looking healthy. 
Right, you go back in here as well. Alrighty, over here I've got a few aeroids, so let's see how many I can pull out. Alright, not bad. It's a silver cloud amame. All of these were planted into the ground because indoors I was just not really happy with them. And they survived winter out here, so I reckon I'll plant them back into the ground because I have just no desire to grow them in a pot because it's just not working. Uh, too many spider mites, to be honest. A little anthurium. Look at that, that just came out as it is. Beautiful. Oh, my Dean, let's see. Look at that. What the fuck? I had no idea this had such a long stem. <laughs> Look at the stem. Uh, Alrighty, that's good. You know what? Ah, I should have cut it, not ripped it. I'll give it a clean cut as well. Hang on. One moment. Oh shit. My pulling technique failed me on this one, but that's actually okay. Oh no, oh no, it will be okay. The Monsteris will also just go straight back into the ground for sure. Maybe it was the well needed. What is this? Anyway. Just got a pepperoni ah! and an orchid. Okay. Okay, so with these, I will definitely do like mixed pots of everything. And again, they just have to live in here for like a week and hopefully not die. Some good aeroid mix. That sounds like Tim. He's coming to help me. I'll just surprise him with his new pots. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <sighs> How's it going? Yeah, okay. uh, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you get the ladder yeah. from the garage and a box? I want to take the lights down. Just a box where I can put the lights in. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Now all the crawlers, again, I'm just going to give them a temporary pot. They will all go back into the ground because they're freaking crawlers and I freaking hate them. Oh my god. Don't take this as a repotting tutorial, please. This is shocking. I wouldn't be surprised if they all die. But um, that's the amount of time I have available for them right now. Sorry. <laughs> I honestly just chucked them all in there, just making sure that like the roots are kind of covered. I'm not looking to make sure that each plant has enough room or something like that. I'm just making sure that the roots are covered so the roots can continue getting some water and nutrients. And again, it's only gonna be a week. Alrighty, here we go, look at that. Timmy's already taking the lights down and Timmy's also pretending like it's bloody winter. And the baby bread supervisors from here. It's so honestly this weird time of the year at the moment over here in Australia. It can be so hot, you can be sweating your ass off, but it can also be really, really cold again. It just can't decide. Anyway, Brettles, what was that? That was like a knee-jerk reaction for no reason. I'm almost done. Last section is over there. So let's tackle that. I'm really excited to be done. All right. Last section over here, the back section. Have a look at this um, tree. Look how it's been shedding its bark. 
And that's why this looks so nice and dirty. Definitely something I won't be missing. All right. Let's get all of these things out. Some canners. And honestly, I just gently pull on those. And if they come out, then they come out. If they don't come out, then, well, then they can't come out. Look at that. Pretty healthy. Obviously. Yay! Oh my god! Come on, you little b Wow, massive root system! Noise! Oh my god, they all just come flying out! Look at this! Oh, well, pleased to say that everything has a healthy root system. Just for me to pull it out. Yay! Look at this! Oh, happy days. Okay, now I need pots, big pots. Pulled them all out and now I don't want to, now I've got to step all over them. All the canners will go back in here because they will 100% go back into the ground because I already have two big pots of those. And they just multiply themselves. I mean, look at this big shoot that it's sending out here. All right, I'll just chuck them in here. I'm not, I don't really care about the leaves. These canners grow so quickly they grow like a leaf or two a week. So, even if I destroy some leaves now, I just wanna make sure it has healthy roots. As long as the roots survive, it will come back to life. I'll pot one up separately. It's for Tim, but he's right there, so he can hear me. <laughs> but this one can go to Tim's courtyard or garden. I think it will look nice. Oh no, I forgot a canner. Two. Damn it. That's okay. All right, last one. I think I'll do a mixed pot. <sighs> Shit. Uh, Alright, I think this Heliconia, this big one, deserves its own pot, so it shall receive. Oh my god, this is so messy. <laughs> uh, okay, last pot. It would be so helpful if there would be like an even surface. Oh my god, the new courtyard is going to be even, can you believe that? This courtyard is just always not even. It's always slanting down, or something's happening with it, but there's not an even surface inside. So I'm super excited. All right, this is gonna be another pot of plants that will definitely be planted back in the ground. So they'll all go in together, completely disregarding everything you should normally consider when potting something up. You know what, well, maybe this is like the new thing. Maybe this is gonna become like my theme. Just random mixed pots of things. But honestly, I, I, I really appreciate planting things in the ground. You don't have to worry about drainage. They seem to be just so much more resilient. So much easier to water. 
you don't need to worry about them sitting in too much water. And the plants just feel right at home. I mean, plants are supposed to be outdoors in the ground, not necessarily in pots. So where I can, I want to keep them, I want to put them in the ground. And I suppose maybe they'll survive all of this without any issues. We will see. Okay, last one. See this little island? These are little alocasia seedlings. And I honestly cannot believe they have grown. I planted them here as a seed. So I want to take them with me. I'll just take the whole thing as it is and just pop it on soil. Ta-da! Easy, I hope. Well, we'll find out. Alrighty, while well, I was busy digging this up, Timmy has already removed the lights. Happy days. So now it's just on to cleaning a little bit. Oh my god, look at the debris. <coughs> so fucking lucky. Can you see that pile of dirt? Jesus. Okay, we're getting there. Let me get the green bin from the garage. All right, now I gotta water all of the ones that are potted up so they don't actually die. All righty, let me show you our work. All righty, so nothing happened over here because we're just gonna take them exactly as they are. Still the moss poles over here, but they're also going to go from here straight back into the garden. All right, so kind of empty looking here. All of the plants that used to be in the ground that are now potted up, I kind of just parked, kind of just parked them all over here. Might have not actually been a good idea to park them on that side of the courtyard because that's the side that gets more sun. I suppose I'll just monitor it over the course of the week and see if this is getting too much sun. But I just did it so we can clean the garden beds a little bit. And this is how empty the garden beds now look. Just need to remove the hose, but I might still need the hose. So yeah, the garden is ready to go and I think these will all move into the new place on Sunday. Thanks for your help, Timmy. Alrighty, I think that was good. That kind of satisfied my urges to do something productive that's not just on a computer. And that would be great. I think if we can move all of these on Sunday and maybe some plants from the greenhouse as well, that's already gonna be a huge relief. Uh, because I don't actually have that much stuff inside. It's mainly outside that I have so much stuff and plants and the greenhouse and the garage. I should just stop talking. More doing, less talking. Hello, look how beautiful my Discoria Discala is. Oh my God. She grows every day and just gets prettier. Anyway, exciting day today because I'm about to go to the agent and pick up the keys for the new place. So it's been just over a week since I've last seen the place. My friend, Hafa, who's moving in with me, hasn't even seen the place yet. And as time progressed over the course of last week, I just got more and more nervous about the place. Like, is it really nice? Am I going to be okay there? Where can I put all of my plants? Are my plants going to be happy there? Is Brett going to be happy there? Am I going to be happy there? Is Hafa going to be happy there? So it was really stressful. Um, I love overthinking. I'm a hey, Bradley, don't destroy my couch. Look at that naughty little cat over there. Yeah, love to overthink. But yeah, I think, I don't know. Well, anyway, I, think, I suppose we'll see. We'll see really shortly if we're gonna be okay there or not. I can hardly remember the place. Like, I mean, I remember the place compared to last time I moved. I definitely have better memories of this place. But yeah, I really need to go back there and reconfirm that it's a good place. 
and we're doing that now. I just picked up a lot of keys, so let's have a look at the place. I also just done a two hour inspection report, so I feel like I know every single crevice in this place. So this is going to be the plant room, um, south facing window, which is kind of good though, because it gives it nice, bright, indirect light. And then for the back wall, I've got grow lights to help out the back wall. Low ceilings in this place though, compared to my current place where I've got really high ceilings, it's gonna be weird. Anyway, let's move through. Alrighty, and then over here, we've got the kitchen, dining, and living area all in one. I suppose that's where I'll spend most of my time. Actually, that's a lie. Most of my time is gonna be out there. Yay! Look at this. I've got a big garden again. This has to go. It looks filthy, hey? It looks a bit, uh, yeah, doesn't look the greatest. So I'm gonna take this down. The greenhouse is gonna go here. So this is north facing. North is here, south is here, west, east, I think. So the greenhouse is gonna be here. I think it's actually gonna be really good for it because it's kind of gonna be shaded most of the time. So don't need to buy shade cover after all. Hey, yay. And yeah, I've got all of these raised garden beds that um, I can do a lot with, right? Exciting. And then obviously I have this area over here where I'm really excited. I have an even surface to put furniture on or to put plants on and more uh, garden beds around here as well. And then, hello neighbors. I feel like my fence is very low. Everybody else's fence is much higher. So I'm gonna cover it with plants. Anyway, uh, from up here you can see there's uh, one balcony up there. That's gonna be half a balcony. And look at the cute little plants growing up there. These are the plants that come with the place. Not a big fan, but I suppose they're already here. Might as well. All right, come on upstairs. This is gonna be the bedroom. Quite small, but it's okay because I have a much larger uh, living area now. But it comes with its own balcony as well. Hello. <laughs> also quite small, but I love how I'm kind of like in the middle of this tree. That looks so nice. I'm really excited. All right, come on through. The next room is Hafa's. Oh, obviously there's a bathroom and so on over there, but it's not really. This one is Hafa's room. She can do with it whatever she wants, but I wanted to show you the balcony that she's got. Very sunny over here. So again, north facing, but you can kind of see down into the courtyard from over here. I mean, at this stage, you can mainly see this ugly shade cover. But look at this beautiful tree. I'm not too sure what it is, but I love the color. Look at this beautiful Dracaena over here. Another beautiful one over there. Like this is a nice view, right? Um, and it's facing inwards. So in, into the courtyard, not the main street or the highway or anything like that. So that's exciting. And I feel like once I got rid of that, and you can actually see down below, this will be a really cool spot for well, half to enjoy, <laughs> but I'm sure I can come every now and then. <laughs> All right, come on through. And then lastly, we also have an upstairs, which is kind of useless, but it is supposedly the storage. So yeah, it's storage over here, you know, which is good. You always need storage. There's overall not really many buildings or anything like that in this house. So it's good to have a bit of storage up here. It's gonna be nice and warm up here as well. So probably a place you avoid in summer, but you probably appreciate in winter. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. And downstairs I've got two car spaces as well, but it's dark there, there's no light. So don't really think I need to show you that. Right, let's head back downstairs. Alrighty, this is my new house. So I think, 
soon it's time to start moving things in but before i want to move things in i actually really really want to get rid of this because it annoys me and i think oh, it makes sense to just do that before anything else moves in so let's do that first and kind of see the vibe without it i feel like it's going to really change the vibe of this place uh, when we remove it so let's work on that oh shit can you help me So much sun, beautiful. So definitely really sunny spot over here. You have cacti here. Uh, then I think poles here, poles here, poles here, greenhouse here. Ah, I'm excited. Ah, I feel much better now that I've seen the place again. I was a little nervous this morning, but I think it is actually nicer than I remembered. Alrighty, that was part one of my moving vlog and that was kind of the stressful part. It's the part where I need to digest the news that I need to move in the first place and move on from those news. Then find a place, inspect places can be really stressful because you just have to act so quickly and you don't really get much time to contemplate your choices. You just gotta make it and hope for the best. And oh well, I do think it turned out quite well. At least I'm looking forward to moving in here. Which leads me to part two of my moving vlog, which is the hard work part. Not so stressful, but it's gonna get physical. I need to start packing and then I need to move over 150 plants as well as a greenhouse. <sighs> but that's okay, I've got plenty of time to do so. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and put your notification bell on so you're not missing out on part two that gets released as soon as I finish the edit. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and leave a nice comment and I'll see you next week.